friends, it's Ms. Right here. Today, we're going to be talking about input-output tables. Remember when we were skip counting and we had to find a rule? That's what we're going to do for input-output tables. Let's look at our first one. Here's my table. Here's my in. Whenever I put a number in, I always have to get a number out. First, I need to find the rule. Hmm, when I look at 6, I know that 6 to 10, my number's getting bigger. I'm going to put an addition sign here to remind me. Let's look at the next one. 12 to 16, my number's increasing. 3 to 7, my number's increasing. 11 to 15, my number's increasing. And 0 to 4, all my numbers are getting bigger. I need to find the rule that tells me what they're getting bigger by. I'm going to use tally marks to help me. Let's start with 6. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm increasing by 4. Let's check our next one. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. My first two are increasing by 4. But I need to check the rest just to make sure. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Adding 4. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Adding 4. My last one, I know that 0 plus 4 is 4. So my rule must be I'm adding 4. Let's try another one. This input output starts with 15. I put in 15, I get out 12. When I go from 15 to 12, I know my number is getting smaller, so I'm taking away, which is subtraction. 8 to 5 is getting smaller. 3 to 0 is getting smaller. Hmm, my, next la my last ones are blank, so I'm going to start and check to see what my numbers are. 15, 14, 13, 12. I'm taking away 3. 8, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. I'm taking away 3. 3, 2, 1, 0. I'm taking away 3. Now that I've seen the pattern, I know that I must be taking away 3 from 17. 17, 16, 15, 14. So my output must be 14. 5, 4, 3, 2. 5 take away 3 is 2. My rule must be subtracting 3. Some input-output tables can go from top to bottom. Just because it's top to bottom doesn't mean I'm doing anything different. I'm still putting in 15 and I'm getting out 25. I know that from 15 to 25 my number is getting bigger. Hmm, if you look closely, I can see that my tens place is changing. Let's use our background knowledge of place values. 21 to 31, getting bigger. 17 to 27. If I think back to place values, I know that my tens place is increasing. 1 plus 2 plus something to get 25 must be 10. 21 plus 10 gives me 31. 17 plus 10 gives me 27. Here's my pattern, adding 10. Let's add 10 to 52. 52 plus 10 is 62. 88 plus 10 is 98. Our rule must be adding 10. Here's 
another table that goes from top to bottom. I'm inputting 27 and I'm getting 21. I can see that my numbers are getting smaller. 21 is less than 27, so I must be subtracting. 13 is less than 19, so I'm subtracting again. 45 is less than 51, I'm subtracting. Let's use tally marks. 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21. I took away 6 from 27 to get to 21. Let's try it with our next one. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, minus 6, 51, 50, 49, 48, 47, 46, 45. I can see my pattern is subtracting 6, so I'm going to try it with my next one. 66, 65, 64, 63, 62, 61, 60. My number must be 60. My next input is 49. Well, if my pattern is minus 6, I'm going to take away 6. 49, 48, 47, 46, 45, 44, 43. My rule must be minus 6. Sometimes we can have word problems for our input-output tables. Let's try this one. Maya put in 13 and got out 17. Then she put in 22 and got out 26. What rule was she using? First, I'm going to draw my input-output table. I know I need to put a number in in order to get a number out. The first number Maya put in was 13. She got out 17. Hmm, 13 to 17, my number's getting bigger. I must be adding. Let's draw tallies to see how many. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I added 4. Then she put in 22 and got out 26. Let's try this one and see if we're correct. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Our rule is adding 4. Our next word problem says Gavin uses the rule subtract 8 for his table. If he puts in 49, what will he get out? I'm going to draw an input-output table from top to bottom this time. Remember, some go left to right and some go top to bottom. If I put a number in, I always need to get a number out. If Gavin puts in 49 and he subtracts 8, what will he get out? I'm going to use my tally marks to check. 49, 48, 47, 46, 45, 44, 43, 42, 41. Gavin's number must be 41. All right, friends. Remember, when doing input-output tables, you need to find the rule. Always put a number in in order to get a number out. Keep practicing.